Hi, I'm Aaron Brooker, your area BEX agronomist covering Michigan and Northern Indiana. In this video series, I'll discuss the PFR proven products and practices and success strategies we've identified that I'm confident will work in Michigan. Join me as we bridge the gap and bring PFR to your farm. Hi, on this episode, I wanted to highlight a couple of important things. First of all, the new 2024 PFR book is live online now. So if you go to the Bex website, there is actually the easiest way to get to it. There's a yellow banner across the top of the homepage right now. Otherwise, you can go through that research link and, and find the PFR book there as well. But you can download that and check out our 2024 findings on all of the stuff we researched this year. So that's exciting that that is out and ready to go. The printed books will be coming um, hopefully a little bit earlier this year, but still in that late December, January timeframe uh, as we get into insight meetings there. One study I wanted to highlight here is we're in the off season and something we talk about quite a lot in Michigan with some of the heavier natured soils, especially is going to be tile. And with tile, I know that's a, a really big investment. It's kind of a long-term investment. So a lot of times it's only gonna be on those fields we own. Uh, possibly some long-term rental fields and things like that. But um, one, one thing that's often missing from a tile discussion is we know it makes money over time, but how successful is it? And so we've looked at that in PFR and I wanted to share with you some of that data as maybe you make those decisions over this fall or in future years, just knowing that we have some data to back up decisions that you might make as it relates to tile. So we have a couple of different studies that I wanna point out. One of them is our Ohio location where we have a tile spacing study. We're looking at multiple different spacings with corn here. And we have multiple years of data on this now. And over time, you can see the data has pointed to uh, yield increases uh, being the greatest with this 30 foot spacing. And so um, that's fairly common throughout the state with some of the newer tiling that we're doing that we're gonna go with a 30 foot spacing. Sometimes you even go narrower than that, um, depending on the drainage with that soil. Uh, for that Ohio location, it is a fairly clay-based soil and, and does deal with some poor drainage. And so that's why we went with that location. And you can see some of the yield results uh, from the multi-year data, but even the 2024 data here kind of gives you an idea of the bushel return here that you might be looking at with a tiling expenditure. So over multiple years, you can uh, take your cost of tiling and, and see when you might expect a payback, uh, given variable crop prices throughout the years as well. The other study we have is a tile spacing and depth study, and that's at our Southern Illinois location. Again, dealing with a little bit of clay-based soils there as well, uh, some poor drainage there. And so the depth uh, component, we're finding a 24 inch depth here uh, is preferable and is yielding us better results than that 36 inch deeper depth. Uh, and in this study, the 15 inch spacing happens to be doing a little bit better than the 30 or the 15 foot spacing is doing a little bit better than that 30 foot spacing. Uh, in this one in particular, I know that's going to greatly increase the cost there and the 30 foot spacing isn't too far off as well. So it might just depend on your soil type and how much drainage you need. Uh, the interesting thing here though with this study is that we're seeing better results there with that 24 inch depth. When we move to the 36 inch depth, that uh, 15 inch or 15 foot spacing, actually the, the benefit from that increases quite a bit over the what it was in the 20 or in the uh, 24 inch depth. So when we go to that deeper depth, uh, narrowing those spacings up actually provides more increased value uh, if we're putting that tile deeper. So a couple of different studies here. We even have some soybean data here with this tile spacing in depth. Um, maybe not as high of returns overall that we see with the corn side of things, but we still see some returns in that rotation year as well. So again, you can kind of get an idea here with this data of what the payoff for tiling expenditures is gonna look like uh, over time on your farm. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, but this is one uh, I know we deal with a lot in Michigan. We have a lot of old lake bed soils, just a lot of 
old clay soils that maybe don't drain the best and so very applicable to Michigan growers and exciting that we actually have some data so you can kind of put some numbers to the money that you're spending.